Hi everybody, it's Brick's eight day birthday and he's getting bigger and bigger every day. He's eating more, going potty more, having multiple diapers in a row more. Um, today you might notice he has some chapped lips, but I'm starting to put today, I'm starting to put uh, organic USDA coconut oil on his lips so they can get more um, soft again because you know being in Vegas it's a little bit more dry since he's been in my stomach with all the fluid but now he's out in this uh, dry heat. For my California friends um, because I grew up in California the Las Vegas weather is no joke. When I first moved here it took me like three months for my skin to get acclimated. I had like I had chapped lips for like three months so the fact that he's just barely getting a little bit of chap lips eight days on earth is pretty impressive. But I'm sure it'll take him a while to get acclimated as well. Let's see, uh, Michael's dad and Lolita came and visited us uh, this past evening and they came and brought strawberries with cream and cereal for Michael. <laughs> they made a joke about it. What did they say? Well, you got whipped cream and strawberries. Hello. And I got uh, um, checks, but there's like no sugar, no salt, no anything. It's basically like cardboard. <laughs> they say, they're saying that I need to work on my weight, which is true, but just a little joke, I guess, from my dad. Yeah, so he was here for about two hours. Um, it was a great visit. Did you, have, did you have fun talking with your dad? I had a good time. Uh, my dad is uh, from the world of family therapy psychology, so we talked a lot about shop. We talked about a lot of neurotransmitters, acetylcholine. Um, we talked about uh, serotonin. We talked about glutamate. So it was a lot of fun. We we're just talking about neuroscience. Yeah, they talked a lot about stuff that went over my head. So um, I was talking with Lolita, and then I let Lolita hold. Um, Brick, and then also we talked about our cute dog Alice as well. So they were here about two hours, and after that, my mom helped me finish up my laundry, which is really good because it's way far behind. Your mom has been a trooper, let me tell you, because uh, I didn't really realize how messy we could be uh, once Brick came into the world. But when you're changing a diaper every uh, every five minutes, sometimes it feels like I mean. The, Okay, this goes out to all the mommies. I know you know what I'm talking about, but how many times have you changed a diaper? And as soon as you get done changing it, uh, number two. Well, that has happened like threefold, and even one time happened four times in a row. So uh, we are going through the diapers quick. Yes, we are. And like even this morning when I was changing him, he this is the first time he went number two when I was wiping him. So, but at least I had a diaper underneath prepared just in case we wouldn't get it on his clothes or anything. Cause I've actually had that experience with my niece and it made me laugh so hard. She just kept going and going and going. She was not done. <laughs> but um, yeah, so my mom, she helped me out with laundry. And then I went over to my parents' house because my nieces and nephews were having a huge sleepover over there. Let's see, Chase Chance, Grace and- Now, now was that a, an official slumber party? Yeah. Yeah, it was official slum party. She had like good cereal, good snacks, popcorn, movies. And was there a reason I wasn't invited? Because I love slumber parties. <laughs> You're invited. <laughs> you were just working on a project. <laughs> and we kept Brick here because we needed him on the light. So, but he should be, his levels, he's actually looking 20 times better than he was. His skin color's looking so good. His eyes are looking good. So I went to my mom's to see my nieces and nephews and uh, it was super cute because they had like a fort set up. They always set up a fort with like blankets and chairs and they were watching Moana, which was super cute. I started watching it with them and uh, I did cry in part of it because it does get a little emotional kind of in the beginning. It was super cute and um, I was like, oh, I should watch this with Michael. So after um, got some stuff done and talked with my mom, we le I left and picked up food for Michael. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna get Moana at Redbox. I went to the closest Redbox, but they were out. <laughs> I was so bummed. So instead we watched uh, Modern Family. Yes, now let me ask you a question. Do you think that this new movie that they're watching, do you think that it is as good as um, Frozen? I think it's really good. I think it's good at different styles, I guess, different. Why, because it's in Hawaii? Yeah, <laughs> storylines, yeah. <laughs> I think the storylines are cute because um, I don't know you can learn something from a Disney movie it was funny because my nephew Chance was on his phone which he shouldn't have been in headphones 
So I'm like, Chance, if you don't put it away, I'll take it away and put it on TV. And he's like, I don't like this movie. And then he finally put his headphones down. And he was just like smiling and excited and watching. I'm like, oh, you don't like this movie, huh? I said, it, uh, I was like, you can probably learn something from it. Because they always got cute little um, things you can learn from, from the Disney movies, I believe. They got to. <laughs> really cute. But, um, yeah, we, I came back. Michael ate food. And Brick was sleeping. And, uh... We watched Modern Family. Well, it took a minute because Brick was being wide awake. <laughs> so I fed him, and then we watched Modern Family, which is one of our favorite TV shows that we like to watch. And let me tell you something. The reason Modern Family is so awesome is because they do not have laugh machines in the show. If you watch Friends, if you watch, what's that, uh, what's the movie where they're all, like, super fiercely intelligent? Oh, uh, Big Bang uh, Yeah, Big Bang Theory. That has laugh machines. I, I'm just not a fan. It's like the joke goes and it's like, ha 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 ha. And then it's like, ha 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 ha. And there's all these different, there's some guy sitting behind a console pressing buttons depending on how much you should laugh during the joke. And sometimes it's like 50 people, ha 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 ha. And it's like one person, ha ha ha. So I, I can't do it. But I love Modern Family because they know they're good. They, don't, they know they don't have to put a laughing machine in there. They know that you'll laugh for real. And so, uh, yeah, it's just it's pretty funny, pretty funny series. <laughs> The laugh machines don't bother me, but I do my best to uh, mute it for Michael because he doesn't like it. So I just um, put up the caption so I can read it and watch at the same time. Um, let's see. Oh, you did other things today? You did. I did Japanese. Uh, I did Japanese with Brick for about an hour and a half, and uh, he seemed to be into it. And uh, oh, and then of course you know band practice, which I still I'm really far behind on that. I think. I played for like an hour and a half, but when I'm using the, the loop machine in my studio, it's so there's so many, it's so complex. There's so many different parts. You gotta basically instead of memorizing how a song goes, you have to memorize a composition. So you have to know how the drums go, the bass line. You have to know the guitars, the piano. You have to know the vocals, the harmonies, uh, the different melodies, the counter melodies, every little motive and nuance. And you have to memorize all that because you're basically on stage performing it live. Um, like you're an entire band, but you're only yourself on stage. So lots of work behind on that, but you know, Brick's been a trooper. He's been hanging in there listening to me. And I'm making sure not to get the uh, volume too loud though, because I don't want to hurt his ears. So I just put it pretty softly. But yeah, having a lot of fun with that. And then I woke up pretty early this morning so I could feed Brick, get him dressed, get him all cute, wiped up, but clearly he needs to be, have a sponge bath today. <laughs> He's uh, getting little, there's number two spots that I didn't think there would be at. But um, then I got him ready, and I was like, oh, it's so nice today. Let's go on a walk. I woke Michael up, and we went on a walk around a really big block, and we went to the park. Which was really what she, This is what happened. She woke me up, and she says, um, we're going on a walk. And I was like, uh, okay, uh, why am I not invited? She's like, you're invited. So it was fun. But at first, I thought they were just ditching me. <laughs> no. No, I just wanted to see if you wanted to go, unless you were super tired. But, um, yeah, we went on a nice walk. It was a very beautiful day today. The sun was shiny. Brick enjoyed it. We went to the park, and we laid one of the big blankets down. We laid Brick down on it, and we were both, like, looking at him, smiling at him, and talking to him because he's just so cute. And then, Michael, you wrestled with Alice. Yeah, I wrestled with Alice, um, but she won again, so, you know. <laughs> It was funny because I was leaving my mom's. So I took Alice with me and uh, yesterday and then last night. I don't know what it is, but if it's the weather's cool, she gets a little like, I want to play. She'll get down on her uh, legs. It's so funny. And I'm looking at her like, okay, I can't play with you right now because, you know, I'm still recovering. <laughs> so, but I let her just kind of just do her little, her play running around and then put her in the car. But, uh. Yeah, so I cuddled a brick up while Michael was wrestling with Alice at the park, and he fell asleep, and then we walked back. And then, well, actually, at the beginning of our walk, something funny happened. I thought to ourselves, well, we should use the crosswalk, you know? <laughs> Which is something, I mean, I don't know why, I mean, I, our street is not very busy at all. There's hardly ever any cars, and of course, we take our time and look both ways, make sure we're clear. Um, but we did uh, go up to the crosswalk, and as I was approaching the crosswalk, I looked to my left and there was a police officer there sitting in his car and I said, well, I guess that was a good time to try out the crosswalk. <laughs> Definitely a good time. Yes, <laughs> so we don't get in trouble for jaywalking. <laughs> 
But yeah, we walked back. Um, I kind of got a bit sore from walking. Every time I go on a long walk, I get pretty sore. So I had to take another um, pill to hopefully calm it down. But it's been good for me. Michael says I've been dropping weight. I just think it's all my water weight because I had so much fluid in my legs, my feet when I was pregnant with Brick, so I feel like all that's been coming out because I've been itchy. <laughs> itchy still, which I don't like. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, you've been dropping a lot of weight. Your face is looking thinner. Every Everything about you is looking thinner. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's good. I just got to drop the, the baby tummy, <laughs> which I will as soon as I get approved. I'm going to start working out again, which will be good. So we've just been doing nice long walks. And, um, yeah, we came back. I had to take a nap. i tired. Because I don't know what it is, but Brick loves to be more alert at nighttime. <laughs> and you try to get him to sleep, and he's like, no, I want to play. I want to look around. So I had to rock him and hold him for a bit because he loves to be close to people. And then he finally fell asleep. And then I got smart because he loves a uh, soft blanket. So I took a soft blanket and wrapped around his uh, mattress. And um, that's been helping a lot. He's been passing out easy on that because he really loves soft blankets because I didn't think he liked his bassinet. He just never really, he just cries every time I put him in it. But I put a soft blanket on there and he passed out even longer. So I was happy. He slept a bit longer than he has been the past few nights. So I got a little bit more sleep, which was really good. Yeah, he's so, he's so cognitive though. It's really interesting. I don't know if I'm quite ready for him to be this cognitive. I mean, he's he's trying to crawl these days. He's push. He's looking up. He's lifting his he's lifting his head up, which is really surprising, because uh, I'm a little nervous because I don't really think he should be moving his head too much. Just eight days in, uh, but yeah, he's trying to crawl. He's making eye contact. He's smiling. He's laughing. So I think we got our hands full with this one. <laughs> Yeah, he's really good, but he's a, he's pretty mellow still. He's pretty mellow, cute baby. I enjoy him a lot. But um. Well, I will give us credit because we do stay on top of feeding him every two hours. We burp him, we change his diapers, we make sure he has clean clothes, we make sure he's clean, we make sure he gets proper sleep as he is doing right now. So it's work. I mean, he's calm, but I, but I'll give our, us a little bit of credit because uh, we definitely stay on top of it. Yes, we do. I, and then I don't realize how long it takes to stay on top because you can be um, helping him out and it's been an hour into it. And you're like, whoa, that went by fast. So, <laughs> so it's always good. Like Michael's talked a few days forward to make a list of what we need to do because our schedule can be thrown off with brick with certain situations. But yeah, but thank you guys so much for uh, listening on Brick's eight day birthday. We really appreciate it and we will see you soon. Talk to you soon. And like always, remember, no matter how different we may be from each other, if we treat each other with respect, we can always be friends. Keep that in your heart, keep that in your mind, and we will see you tomorrow, friends.